Hi, I'm going to show you a new feature for you to test in the next beta release of Mew. An input plotter. Uh, this was the brainchild of Lady Ada from Adafruit, and she contributed the initial work to make this happen. So thank you for your contribution, Limor. Um, it currently works with MicroPython and CircuitPython based modes, although it should be very easy to make it work with, say, GPIO0 running on uh, Python mode on a Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, the version of Qt used on Raspberry Pi is ancient and doesn't include the charting libraries used by Mu. So this feature will be disabled on Raspberry Pi until Raspbian catches up. In any case, I have a script that emits tuples of numbers via a USB serial connection. These values could represent anything, but in this instance, I'm taking readings from the accelerometer of a microbit I just happen to have lying around. Uh, that's these lines with the print statement on them. If I press button A, it toggles between reading just the x-axis on the accelerometer and all three available axes, x, y, and z. Now, if I run this with the REPL turned on, uh, you'll see what I mean. For this to work, a tuple must contain numbers and be on a single line with no other output. So I restart the board, and I'm pressing the A button, so I'm getting values through. Now, if I start the plotter, and I want you to notice the uh, groovy new button, these values are turned into a funky looking chart. So this is just the X reading coming through. Notice how as I move the device, uh, the range of the chart changes um, to fit with um, what's coming through. And if I press the A button, all three readings will appear on the chart as different colors. There we go, um, which is rather nice. Um, notice also that uh, the themes work too and that the chart automatically resized as I moved things around. Okay. Um, finally, when you close the plotter, it drops a CSV file of the data it detected as input into a file uh, named with a timestamp into a data capture directory in your mu code directory. So let's see if uh, we've got one here. Yeah, well, we've got two. You can see how many takes it's taken for me to do this video. <laughs> so I've managed to break a bunch of existing unit tests to make this work. Um, but once I fix those, I'll make a release and I'd love some feedback. Um, so I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for listening.